The next tool that we're going to look at in our selection family is the magic wand tool and the quick selection tool. The magic wand tool has been in Photoshop pretty much from the beginning and it works pretty straightforward. In this photograph we're going to use this photo that I took of an avocado to demonstrate it. So let's say that we want to select just the white area to ultimately remove it. Well we can simply click in the white area and based upon what we have set for tolerance will determine how much of the area it will actually select. So in other words wherever I click with my magic wand tool it will say okay so if the value of the pixel is say 255 going back to our earlier discussions about histograms which is pure white 255 then 255 minus 32 it'll select every pixel in that range okay now just like the other selection tools if I hold the shift key down you'll notice that the magic wand turns into a plus if I hold the alt or option key down it turns into a minus so if I want to add this section here I have a couple choices I can either increase the tolerance or I can hold the shift key down and click again and continue to do so until I have the shape close enough to where I want to select create my selection now you will notice that this last click that I made actually selected part of the exterior of the avocado and that's not good so I might want to undo that which is control Z or command Z depending on whether you're on a PC or a Mac and so that brings up my selection and it's about as close as I'm going to get using the magic wand and I'll show you just what the end result looks like if I select right now if I copy right now like we did in the tomato example earlier because we were selecting the white all that I'll copy is the white so let's say that I want to isolate just the avocado I need to invert this selection okay so right now the selection because we were selecting white that's the only thing that's selected what we're after is to have the white unselected and the avocado selected so in order to switch that around we want to hold down the shift key the command key on a Mac or control key on a PC so it's shift control on a PC shift command on a Mac and the letter I and whenever I hit the letter I it inverses the selection so now you'll notice that the only thing is selected is the avocado so if I hit copy control C and paste control V and turn off the background layer you'll notice that we have the avocado selected now it's also a very sharp edge and remember in the previous video what I mentioned about softening the edge so you may want to feather the edge a pixel or two just to take some of the harshness off so you might be wondering well that's great Tony but we still have this drop shadow what do we do about that well that's where some of the future tools that we're going to look at like the eraser tool comes in handy where we can actually go in and depending on the brush that we choose we can actually erase the balance of that selection so we can just come in here and erase the remaining drop shadow so that we ultimately end up with just the avocado and the brush that I'm using with the eraser tool is actually I have a hardness of zero we probably should have a hardness of about 70 just so that it's a soft edge but it's not so soft that it looks stupid so you notice if I use A softness of 70 is very similar to what we had achieved with the magic wand tool and if you decide you know what that isn't quite perfect you can always hit undo and just go back and
remove that part and then we can come in and remove this part of the shadow and all that I'm doing is holding my left mouse button down with the eraser tool selected so once it's erased this area is erased this is a permanent a permanent correction unless we either hit undo to remove one or to change it back to the previous action that we took or we can use the history tool you'll notice that there's two sets of eraser so I could go back to paste and get back what I had erased earlier so there's a couple ways of hitting undo and so there you have it we have our avocado now if you compare that to the original you'll notice that the the back image was actually softer so it didn't have the hard edge like we have now so it kind of looks a little awkward so you might be thinking how do you get that and essentially the easiest way to do that is that whenever you're working with a magic wand tool there really is no way of getting a soft edge unless you use feather after the fact okay so it's important to keep that in mind but the other tool that we have here which is the quick select tool I like a lot because you can get a bit more specific with it it combines the magic wand tool together with define edges so that similar to what we saw whenever we were using the magnetic lasso tool it works very similarly but it works extremely fast you can control the area that you're working with because it gives you the ability to adjust the size and the hardness and all of that and I'll show you where this can be an advantage. So let's say we turn the hardness down to 60 and we'll leave the size at 30. If I come up here and select, and so it's selecting, notice the name, quick select, it's just selecting very quickly. And again, up here, you'll notice that there are three options. You have the quick select tool just creating a new selection then you have add to and subtract from just like most of the tools but you can choose the add tool as you're selecting and all that I'm doing is holding my left mouse button down and I'm dragging my brush along okay and so now the whole thing is selected and I can actually go in and define the shadow area a little bit more but you might be thinking yeah but you also got part of the skin here so what I can do is actually decrease the size of my brush to maybe 10, choose the subtract tool, okay, and just run my brush in that area. And you might think, well, yeah, but you also picked up some of the shadow again. That's okay. We're going to go in and fine tune it and that's one of the beautiful things about this tool is unlike any of the other selection tools we can go in and really fine tune and get a pretty accurate selection fairly quickly now let me show you the difference in using this particular tool I'm going to inverse the selection again using control shift I or command shift I and I'm going to copy it just like before and paste so now you notice that we have a very clean edge okay clean like before except that we were able to remove the shadow and everything without having to go in and erase now one other thing that I'm going to do is go back to our selection before and this time I'm going to hit select modify feather and we're going to feather it, say, 5 pixels. And I'm going to copy and paste. And now 5 pixels was probably a little bit much. Okay, so let's, uh, let's undo that and choose feather, say, 2 pixels. It really depends on the size of your image. I'm working with a smaller image, so a couple pixels is a big deal when it comes to smaller images. So I'm going to copy and paste. And so now it's not bad. You'll notice that it matches it fairly closely that we have around the edge. And in this particular case, let's just take it one more step and go to just one pixel. 
copy and paste. Yeah, I think that's completely acceptable. So the drop shadow is moved, the background is removed, and everything is completely silhouetted the way we want to. So I'm just going to save this here real quick. Don't need to show that again. Now there's one more type of selection that I want to show you here real quick in this video. It's not directly related to the magic wand tool or the quick selection tool, but it's just as powerful if used correctly. And that is under select again, it's called color range. And if I click on color range, you might notice that the interface looks somewhat familiar to replace color and it works very similar to that. Let's say for instance that we wanted to make a selection of just the seed of the avocado. So if I click on the seed and hold the shift key down to add to it, you'll notice over here in the selection area, you can actually see how much I'm selecting, okay? And then I can use fuzziness to include the, the remaining area. So we're pretty close there. There's a little bit of brown in this stem here and that's what's picking up here. So once I have this fairly solid and I'm happy with it, if I click OK, you'll notice that it selects just the seed. Now you also notice that there's a couple small areas that I missed and that's or that got picked up and they shouldn't be. So we can come back to say the polygon or lasso tool or the regular lasso tool and if I hold the shift key down which turns it into a plus I can just draw around these couple of spots here so that they're included and if I hold the option or the alt key down and draw around these little spots they're excluded okay and you also notice that over here there's one tiny little area that didn't get included so I'm just gonna hold the shift key down and draw in that little spot there and so now whenever I copy and paste I have just the seed let's bring up levels which is control or command L and that gives us the ability to lighten or darken so I could really darken the seed if I wanted to make it more contrasty looking or if I wanted to shift the color I could use hue and saturation which is control or command U so so there you go, we have a lot of options that we can work with our images and control them just using select.